welcome to our channel in this video i will show you how to fix the csv file download issues or data export issues in our iq bot for that i have two solutions the first one is we need to download the task file which is extension file we need to be downloaded and the second one is we need to change the xml settings in our c drive so i will show you each and everything before that i will show you the issues so let me go into the control room and let me launch into iq bot so i will show you the I instance which i have created already so learning instances and here you can see already have created one of the instance so let me go into that and you can see the number of productions all the productions are success there is no failures everything is success there is no unprocessed but you know i am unable to receive the csv data extract files so in my c drive i could not receive the files for that so let me go into workbench so here is my code the usually i am using this code so the same things each file in a folder and i have selected the correct path so this is the path i have selected i have 10 doc 10 documents in my folder and click on save after that here is my iq bot so in the iq bot name i have chosen the correct name iq bank so the same name i have selected after that the file path first current directory then file name and after that extension so i have updated the same details and this is the output path we cannot change this is the default path so i will click on save and i will execute this task so you can see the results so i have executed and runtime window has been started now what is my expected result is we need to say it needs to be saved all the output files in the destination folder in the output folder all the file needs to be shared saved okay but you can see i will copy one of the folder and i will try to find the folder i am getting the error prompt which means the folder is not available the folder has not been created it's not success the bot is not success so in order to overcome that we need to download one of the task extension file so here i have downloaded the extension file and this is the code this code what will do is it will validate the folder whether you have access or any other issues it will identify the issues after that it will create one more folder and it will save all the extracted files into the corresponding folders and it will display the same so the same code you can download from the google so i'll show you how to download the this codes okay so and after that what i have done is just i have copied this code three four, four lines and i have copied and pasted into the after the error handlings which within the file in the last end i have updated my codes i have just copy paste this code so now i will execute so you can see the results so here also i have mentioned the same things in the start loop i am having the each file in a folder and the same folder as well as iq bot i have the same things you know i didn't change anything i am using this just i have copy pasted right so this is a default content i, I have received downloaded from the google side so from the begin error handling to end error handling i have received already i have received this code so using this i can able to extract all the information extract all the csv files into corresponding folders now i executed the runtime has been started now you can say the line 21 out of 36 it's running so once it's completed you can see the results in the shared drive so we'll wait for one more moment success which means we have one of the new folder has been opened when you are opening the folder you can see all the csv files whatever the csv file we expected all the csv file was extracted into the particular folder so i'll open one of the csv file yeah this is the output i expected so the same output i got and all the files were saved into the different folder so you may have a question something like why the files were not saved into the corresponding folders such as c drive public documents so it can be the access issues or else in the while downloading the tools there is some of the extension file is missing or there is a lot of possibilities are there 
So you, at that case, you can download this file, such as you can download this code from the extension file and use that instead of you know wasting our time, just we can download. So I'll show you how to download that file. For that, just use this link. Also, I'll update this link into the video description and you can use the same. So just copy this link and go to any of your browser. I'll use the Chrome browser. Just paste this link. What will happen is it will download it automatically. It will download one of the extension file. So after that, just show in folder, open the downloaded file in the folder. So in my case, it will always save in the downloads folder. So here you can see it successfully downloaded the IQBot extension file. Nothing I have done. Just what I have done is just I have pasted the link. After that, it's automatically downloaded the extension file. So in the download folder, I can see the file. So what I have to do, just I need to copy this file at this time and go to your client. Go to your client and just click on my task. In the task panel, you can see my task. Just click on here, my task and right click. Do the right click and open folder. And after that, click on open folder and you can see the new folder window has been opened. Here you need to paste your file. From the download folder, you have copied right. You need to paste the same folder and same extension file into the my task folder. Then what you have to do, then go to the workbench and file open the extension file which you have downloaded. In the my task already you have saved, so you just download this one. So here you have downloaded. So this is a default code, this uh, which is available in the extension files, you know, message box. So when you are uh, first when you are running, it will prompt the window. The runtime window has been started. You can see the message box with the guidance. So this will guide you what the, what are all the details we need to be updated, such as IQ bot URL. We need to update the URL which we have received in our email. So in my email, I can show you, I have received this message. Hi, thanks for signing up into the Automation Anywhere Community Edition. And here is my com control room URL. And this is the password and this is the username, which I have received in my email. So hope uh, now you are always, always using the same thing in your Automation Anywhere. So just type the same thing in the variable manager. So first we need to type the URL and the second one, login username, credential from welcome email and the login password which we have received in the email and the IQBot learning instance name which is nothing but in the instance name which we, which we have already created right the same name you need to update let me log in ok in the learning instance you can see the name my instance name is IQ Bank. So we need to update this information in the variable manager. So just go to the workbench and go to the variable manager. You can see already uh, multiple variables got created. In the default variables are my list variable and the prompt assignment. And in the extension files, it has multiple variables. In the attached variables, we have multiple variables. So you need to enter all the values into the First, you need to update URL. So just copy the same into from the email, from the welcome email, what the URL you have received, you need to click on save. After that, log in username. The username you have received in your email. Perfect. Just copy and paste. In my case, you know, I cannot show my username and the password, so that I am using this symbols. But in your case, you need to update the correct details. Don't miss these things. Just you need to update the values. That's it. You don't need to change any other things. Just update the values and the instance name. Just update the instance name. IQ Bank. Everything is caps, cap, uppercase. So IQ B A N K. Perfect. So we have done. That's it. Just ignore about the other paths. Authentication, output. So these are all multiple items are empty and the output you can see the output path where you want to store your current out, output, which is Previously, we got the errors in this while trying to down extract the files into the 
C drive, C public documents, we are getting the errors. So where you want to download all the extracted files. So I have chosen Automation Anywhere, My Docs, I, IQ Bot. This is a default option. If you want to change, you can change it or else leave it as it is. It will, anyhow, it will open the shared drive folder. So from there, you can download all the information. That's up to you. So that's it, very simple. Just you need to fill the information. First, we have downloaded the file from the path, extension from the path. After that, we have copied and paste using the my task and click on open folder. Here we have pasted this download IQ bot extension results. Very simple, just we have pasted the results. After that, using the workbench, we can open the particular task and we have updated our uh, URL, login username, password and the instance name. That's it. Once everything is done, in the end, you can update your codes such as start loop and the same code. I guess everyone is using the correct codes, but you are getting the issues with the C drive. It could be access or any extension file missing, any reasons. Just ignore that. For now, you can use these codes. In the end of the line, just paste each file in a folder and just you need to select your folder here. Within that, IQBot upload the same things, name and the file path, current directory, current directory which will represent from C drive, C drive to the file name. And here is the file name and after that dot extension. So please ensure that you are having the dot symbol over here. So some of them making mistakes in the, here also you, they are using the backslash. So the backslash we cannot use over here. You need to use the dot, since this is a default format. And the output path, just ignore this output path. The files will not get saved into the this output path. It will save in the different path, so you can see the results. So now I will save and execute the task. So what will happen is, this function, the download extension file task will help us to read the files and will try to access the file. And it will validate whether the parameter, all the parameter has been set. If everything is set, it will create the new folder in the output path. Whatever the folder we have mentioned, it will create the new files. Delete if there is any extension files, it will delete and it will create the new folders for us. So using that, you can do multiple things. Here you can see all the files were extracted. So using this method is a perfect method. So the other option is we need to change the XML settings from our C drive. So in my case, I could not see the automation anywhere IQ bot settings.xml files. So if you can find your in the C drive program files folder, automation anywhere IQ bot, then settings.xml, you can change the settings. But I'll show you, but I'll tell you, you know, there are some problems are there. Since the first one is perfect methods, directly we can download the extension file and we can use it. You know, this code will not change in the bot runners or, you know, bot creative systems. It will not affect any ones. It will run automatically. So it will not affect anywhere. But in this method, if you are using this method, what will happen is it will affect the bot runners. So you are the bot developers. So you have moved the bot to into, into production. So the bot runner also needs to change the same settings. Then only they can download the files into the corresponding folders or else they will not they will also not receive the files it's the same issues they will receive the same issues after that you need to change your codes or else something you need to change you know multiple actions are there so my preference is just use this solution just download this link download the extension file and use the code so i guess everyone is clear quickly i'll recall again Just I have copy paste, copy and navigate to the new web browser. Once you have done, you can see one of the new extension file has been downloaded. From the download folder, just I have copy and move this file into my task folder. So in the my task, just right click, open folder and save your copied file. After that, in the workbench, just you can open the file, which is a task bot, which you have created. Just open and update your URL, login name, username, password. So which you have received in your welcome email, you need to update each and everything and the instance name. That's it, very simple thing. 
just you need to update these things and you can extract all the informations without any issues you can download it or else you can change the xml settings from our c drive folder that's up to you hope you learned something today really thanks for your time and already have uploaded multiple videos about the automation anywhere and the other programming languages such as sql html javascript excel vba and the other videos so when you have time please watch all the videos like and subscribe my channel really thanks for your time and my next videos will be you know next one day or two days i will upload a number of videos about the meta bots keywords and the other videos so please keep watching our videos and subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon really thanks for your time bye bye see you